What's up guys? This colorful little quadcopter is the Cheerson CX-10D, sent to me courtesy of Lytake.com. The Cheerson CX-10D is the latest Nano from Cheerson, and like its predecessors in the CX-10 line, it brings with it a first for a Nano quadcopter. Altitude hold. This tiny little guy has a built-in barometer which allows it to hold its altitude. So once you get this to the height you want it, you're basically going to forget about the throttle and worry more about the pitch and roll stick, and that makes flying a Nano a little bit easier. The transmitter control sticks both have a spring back system, so they're always going to go back to the center when you let go of them. I find the altitude hold in this little quadcopter works very well on calm days, but when you get wind involved, it really affects the barometer in this little quadcopter, and sometimes when the wind is strong enough, it can even drop the quad out of the sky. That being said, this little Nano wasn't really meant to be flown in adverse conditions, so I can't really fault Cheerson there. In addition to the altitude hold, this one also has a one key takeoff and one key landing. The one key takeoff works very well. You hit the button and it's gonna fly up to a certain height and basically stay there until you give it more throttle. With the one key landing, I find you have to be fairly close to the ground for it to work well. If you try to hit the button from a decent height, it's not gonna work. But if you hold your hand or something like that underneath the quadcopter and you hit the landing button, it will land in your hand, which is kinda cool. There are three rates on this one, a low, a medium, and a high. And the low and medium have basically the same yaw rate, and the high rate, the yaw gets pretty extreme, and it gets a lot more twitchy on the high rate. Still flyable, but you definitely have to be a little bit more deliberate in your controls. The low and medium rates are definitely good for beginners and people just starting out. The yaw rate on the high rate is extremely fast, and it'll spin like a top if you give it full yaw input. It might be a little bit too fast to my liking but it does make the CX-10D very agile and you can get a decent funnel going with it. The LEDs make it good for night flying. The design is basically the same as the original CX-10, although with a very colorful paint job. And I am a very big fan of this paint job. Definitely something different and I think more manufacturers should take note of doing something like this. The advertised range of this one is 25 meters or about 80 feet. And I did have some dropouts with this one, but I was flying in an area that would have a lot of interference. Maybe not necessarily the quadcopter's fault, but this one has dropped out of the sky on me a few times, so just be aware of that. This one does flip in every direction, and the flips on this one are very fun. Tight flips, and it's definitely a lot of fun to watch this one flip through the air. Flying time on this one is about a five to six minute flight, which is excellent considering the technology this one has in it with the built-in barometer and the altitude hold. And charging time for this one is only 20 minutes. So good flight time and even better on the short charging time. This one does come with four spare props and a USB charging cable. Let's talk about the transmitter. Both sticks are spring-loaded, so they're gonna snap back into position when you let go of them. You have a left and right trim button, and this other button that would normally be pitch and roll trim or throttle trim is your auto takeoff and your auto land button. If you push in on the right stick button, that's gonna flip the quad for you. And obviously, I like the paint job on this transmitter. It's got the very colorful graffiti-esque design. Almost looks like some sort of Jackson Pollock painting or something like that. Definitely very cool. That's all I'm gonna have with the Cheerson CX-10D, tiny little nano with altitude hole built in. This one was again sent to me courtesy of Lytake.com, so I wanna say thank you to Lytake for sending me this for review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If I missed anything or if you have any questions at all, hit me up in the comments below. Stay subscribed, and until the next video, happy flying and try not to crash and burn.